Hello again, everyone. Um, having made a card with the background that my grandson Seb made with gilding flakes and embossing powder and a stencil, I thought it only fair to make a card with the background that Cleo, my granddaughter, made. She used glitter on hers instead of embossing powder. So this was hers and I know that uh, Cleo, the favourite shape is a heart. So what I thought we would do quickly for Cleo's um, card is to have a heart aperture in my front panel, have some of her lovely background showing through. And then I thought we'd have a little seal just on the side of the heart, pure and simple. And I thought I would try out again my heat gun with a wax um, rod, whatever you call them, the things like a glue stick, you know. So I've, I've got a daisy here as a steel because I thought, well, I've done Seb, I've done Cleo, Daisy is my other grandchild. So I thought we'll just include Daisy as well. They've been around this holiday. So first thing to do is to um, cut, a, cut an aperture in my front panel. This die is a little B die. They're lovely. I'll show you the packet. Oops, Daisy. Here, here's the pack. Little B. And it's they're made so that you can have the die itself or the die that embosses the stitching. The stitching goes around the outside of this shape. I can't um I can't put the stitching here because it's it's too big. If you see what I mean, I'll just show you. You see, it goes inside. If I had the smaller one, I could do it outside. But I don't want that smaller one. It's too small. This one's too big. So, sadly, I can't use the stitching around. So, that's neither here nor there. But they're really lovely and I've got hearts, I've got circles, I've got all, all sorts of little bee dies, but they are really good. The stars are great, absolutely great. Now I'm just going to, I think I'll just take this down. You know what happened the other day? I thought I'd be clever, just whiz around and cut it and I cut out, I think that was a heart and it wasn't straight. Okay, I think that'll do. Won't be a moment. There we go. You'd be happy to know that my final bridge has, was installed this morning, so hopefully we should be all set. Um, I will be away next week, so there's going to be no... Um, videos next week. I'm ha we're having a break in the Peak District. Um, we went last year with some friends and we liked it so much we're going again. Which is just as well because one of the earrings that I purchased last year made from, with Blue John, I've lost. So I'm going back to the shop to, <laughs> to buy another pair. So I will then have a spare, hopefully. Right, I'm digressing, aren't I? This, a bit of that is going to go behind it should look quite pretty shouldn't it choose a little bit of it to go behind there but before I do that let's get on and sort out the seal this time I've got this Sizzix gun it's a glue gun and I've got some wax seals for it um if you're buying wax seals and you've got a glue gun, do be careful because most, I believe, glue guns that a lot of us card makers have are kind of mini ones. And the size of wax that fits into them is seven millimetres. Um, most of the wax rods that you can buy for heat guns, 
this kind of heat gun are one centimeter thick so if you are buying them do watch out and make sure you get the right size for the gun you've got okay i'm going to use my little silicon mat this was one of a big huge whatever uh about 30 i think there were but it's too big for me to mess about with here but i cut a piece off and it's handy for me to show you what i'm doing and the wax doesn't stick to this um i have known it stick to a glass mat or whatever um very often if you put your seal in a tub of ice that will make it easy to release uh, from the wax. I sometimes just use a little antibacterial hand sanitizer. So I, I think this might be hot enough now. Let's just see. Um, um, I probably should have put it on a little bit sooner, but we'll see. Oh, this needs to go down. Right, I think it could be a, a trifle hotter. We'll see. I haven't tried this daisy stamp before. Let's see. Right, we leave that there just for a moment while I prepare this. Um, I think a little foam tape always helps to give a little bit of dimension to projects. So... Oh, the other thing, I know there was something else I was going to say. I have bought my ticket. This is this is really for people in the UK. Um, I bought my ticket for the Stamparama craft, craft Show at um, Newbury Racecourse on July the 2nd. And I believe that the, uh, Matthew, the chap who stocks Gummy Pan in the UK, is going to be there. So if anybody else is going to go to the Newbury Stamparama craft show, do get in touch because I would love to meet up with you. I know that uh, Lucia is going to be going. She, she, she saw a picture of me in Lanzarote sitting on a wall and she said, are you in the Playa Blanca? Or whatever it's called. And I was. And she was staying there as well. So we met up. It was amazing. And uh, I've met her since at Alexandra Palace. So crafters, wonderful lot. Love, love meeting up with people I am already friendly with, if you know what I mean, via the internet. Right. Now I need a little piece of this. Where do we fancy? It's very, very glittery. Clear does love a bit of glitter. I think I'll just take just take a corner. Let's cut a piece off. What she did for this was have a piece of double sided sheet attached to her card. She then chose this Lavinia stencil and she inked it on one side with Versamark. Then she pressed that side down over the double-sided sheet. With the stencil in position, she covered it with gilding flakes. And then she burnished it. Oops. After that, took off the stencil and sprinkled clear, well, diamond kind of glitter all over the remaining area burnished it again and there it is it's covered up all the all the rest of the sticky so let's have this isn't it pretty it is pretty there we go quite like it there okay now we'll just add a little more adhesive to the rest here
over where that's covered up. Come up, oops. Right. Just a little less stops super adhesive foam tape and tape runner from grabbing the card front the moment it touches it because uh, if it's in the wrong place you've had it right here we go this is just so pretty isn't it look at that she's going to love the fact i chose a heart for her bless her took her home again yesterday and there's our daisy that's my other granddaughter. Now, I'm just going to um, give this a little bit more pizzazz with some um, gilding wax. And I've got a little, I think this is an eyeshadow applicator just to apply it with. And I'm just going to put it over the daisy itself and also around the edge. Let me just turn this gun off. I don't want it to be wasting fuel electricity look at that isn't that pretty it makes such a difference just to highlight a little with um, something else um, every time I do this with gilding wax people say oh I've got a special um, pen well I bought the pens but to be perfectly honest I myself personally get on better with the gilding wax than the acrylic pens or whatever they are. Right, now to attach this onto there, um, I think what I'm going to do is put a little bit of foam tape under the bit that is going to be over the aperture and then a glue dot on the other bit. So I've, I've stuck down the seal with a little bit of foam tape and a glue dot. I'm wondering about a sentiment um, if I do, I'll want something to match with either the background or the seal. So I can't make a sentiment out of uh, wax from my gun, but I could die cut a piece of, of card and put some gilding wax on and that would tie it in with this. So one of the one of the other I like or I could do um, a sentiment from a piece of um, card that I had used the same gilding flakes on. I would like something to be tying the things together. So there we are, <laughs> another card. Won't see you for a week. In the meantime, take care and I'll see you when I get back. Thanks for watching.